What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking out a game called Monolith, a roguelike top-down shooter that tries to kind of, I guess, add those two things together. And so if you were around in the 90s or whatever, basically every arcade had about a dozen of these games and a lot of people played them. I enjoyed them tremendously. If you enjoy games that allowed you to blow up the entire screen while dropping bombs and all kinds of other stuff, this might be the kind of game that would shake your jimmies and take you back to a previous time when games were simpler. Let's get started! Okay, so I can move my little ship like so. Oh wow, he like rolls around and stuff too. Okay. Alright, we got our little bullets over here. We've got like what looks like a dash. Okay, sounds good to me. Uh, where can we go right now? Up the street? Ah, we gotta go through there. Gotcha. Okay, so left click allows us to shoot so we can bust our way through barricades. Let's go ahead and glide on into here. We can also right trigger dash if we need to. And that'll take us up through airstreams or something like that. And then if I tap tab, that's going to give us a map for where we want to go. Oh, okay. I see what the game's getting at. What is that right there? Oof, I blew it up. Select a room on a map screen to teleport from anywhere. Did I just blow up my teleporter? I think I might have just blown up my teleporter. Oh, well. And so left up, or I guess left shift. Oh, there it is. Okay, gotcha. And then we can refill our bombs from right there. What is that thing? I love the Nintendo graphics, man. It looks good. 13th. Oh, we got like a little enemy over here that's trying to murk us. Okay, I'll probably dash up out of the way and see what I can serve up for this guy. That's right, I'm messing with your health, dude. Messing with your health all day long. Watch your health meter disappear. Yup, I'm just gonna keep going around it. Oh, I'm gonna dash. Oh, you can't dash through bullets. Okay, that's good to know. I learned a new thing today. You can't dash through bullets, I don't think. Maybe? Can I? Yeah, I can't dash through bullets. So I've got 10 health up there, I think, is what it's saying. Oh my good sweet lord. That thing was definitely trying to kill us. He filled up the whole screen with a quickness. Bye-bye. Oh, he's going to run away. Is that like my rival or something? Like, who is that guy? Why does he look like me? I'm curious about this. Excavation. All right, let's have a look. So inside of here, there are a number of things that are looking quite unfriendly. Love the little explosion effects right there. They really went out of their way to make this feel like an old school Sega Genesis or an old school Nintendo game. It feels like early generation Sega Genesis or late generation Nintendo. That thing seemed to die pretty quickly. I think I'm getting gold or something like that too as I'm killing these things. What is this? Ooh, it's a little scanny. Oh, that was pretty dope. What happened? Am I dead? Choose one. So I've got blink, I can teleport when dashing creates a selection of powerful weapons or focus prolongs your invulnerability time in between hits. I'm gonna go with teleport while dashing. Okay, so that just makes me spontaneously appear in other locations. We got a couple little eyeballs over here that are trying to take us out. We got some weird little sphincter monsters over here that I think it would probably serve us super well to get them fixed up. Probably would have been better to hit them from the sides right there, but hey. Oh, what are you? Oh, you don't seem friendly. You look like you might want to eat me. Oh, I got him. Okay, the Nimbus has been broken. That was a health refiller right there. What is the Nimbus, and why is it relevant that I have broken it? This game is a roguelike, so chances are there's going to be like some hidden mechanics in here. Some things that don't quite make sense to the player until you get further into the game or things that are unlocking or moving around. That guy's now down and dead and dirty and all that stuff. Those are explosive bombs, so maybe I shouldn't mess around with that. Those look like spikes that are probably going to hurt a lot if I ram my ship into it. We've got a weird cube over here with Fonzie here. For 250G, we get two bombs. We can get a firebomb. Or we can increase our max HP if we can get 1600 gold. I'm going to remember and keep him in mind. We'll come back later once we're set up a little bit better. Oh, on the right-hand side. Yeah, we got a few more enemies over here. I'm going to... Go ahead and drill them as hard as I can for right now. I don't know what those are, but they look like little evil teeth, and I'd rather not concern... Oh, you can blow up the walls, too. Is there anything inside of here? Like, can I find loot inside these walls? I like that. Destructible environments make me happy. Nothing inside of there, so I guess maybe we won't worry about it. This is a... Ooh... What did that do? Ooh, it gives me a big bullet. Okay, so we got like a new gun now. I think this might take some getting used to, though. Ooh, it doesn't penetrate. That's a little concerning. So when I hit those... Huh. 
Interesting. It looks like it's a portal, maybe, for my bullet? Yeah, it's a portal for my bullet, and the angle you hit it at is it comes out the other portal that way. That's pretty unique. That's interesting. All right, I'll keep that in mind for future maps. If I can get enough gold together, though, we can buy ourselves a new gun, and that's what I really want. All right, so he's down. We've got explosives right now. Is that like a shield? Ah, there's a shield. Okay, so I gotta, like, dive through it. Gotcha. Done. All taken care of. I think we have enough gold right now. Let's go back and we're gonna buy the health upgrade. Because I think that's something that's gonna be amazing for future runs. You know, it's a simple little game, but at the same time, they nailed down the aesthetic so well that... Yeah, I'll take that. Now we got 11 HP. That's much better than where we had. An extra, an extra hit is a bigger deal than you might think. But yeah, like, it's a simple little game, but at the same time, like, they paid such careful attention to detail with the aesthetic and the way that it's presented to the player that, uh, I think it's... I think it's definitely worthy of being shown off. What is that right there? We got ourselves a whole bunch of money from that little gemstone. All right. Got an enemy right there. I'm going to try and sink him with torpedoes or whatever it is that we're using right now. Ooh, an extra little health right there, too. I'll get filled up. Oh, it's water. I see what it is. So there's water right there, and then we're coming up and... Oh, okay. What is that? There's like a lantern right there. How do I get the lantern? I wonder if that's just a decoration or if there's a way to access that. Well, I can't blow up the map right there, so I was trying to see if maybe I could deform the terrain somehow. This is probably going to leave a... Ah, the forgotten ringleader. Okay, so he's like a, a ghost boss. Yeah, these things do damage, I'll tell you that much. And it's got a little bit of that splash damage right there. It makes this a tad easier, too. Oh, it's a homing bomb, too. Oh, so I can actually completely and totally miss and even... So oh, shit. That terrified the hell out of me. I'm not going to lie to you. We got an extra bomb right there. It looks like we got 20% more ammo or something. I don't know what that is, but we got something right there. And it looks like we're going to another floor. All right, so we're in the archives now. Let's head up to the top. The music's gotten a little bit more Nintendo intense, which means that uh, something bad is probably going to happen to us here. Knock him on out, steal his cred stick, and get some free money right there. Yo, we're making that good, good cash right now. We're getting paid. I wonder if it's better to shoot that directly at the enemy or if it's better for us to aim that at a wall and watch it like blast something and just kind of see how it goes. Oh, you better get up and off of me, sir. Did we clear this out? What is that right there? Hmm. We got a teleporter right here. Let's go ahead and whack that real fast. What does that do? Old gun salvage. So we got part plus. Oh, shit. Nice, we got like a scrap gun right now. Oh, that's so dope. It's an automatic shotgun. Or at least a semi, it's a burst fire shotgun, and I'm okay with that. Uh, nothing further up this way. It's definitely got kind of like a Binding of Isaac feeling to it too as well. Like, it's, it's kind of interesting because they're trying to portray a lot of information in very, very limited, like, 16-bit graphics. And so like, oof, let's get them real fast. Pick up their loot as much as we can. We got 5,000 gold. If we can track down a shop... I think it might make our life simpler. So that's a 5% damage increase. That right there is a laser that ricochets and bounces off walls where we got increasing max ammo. Um, I'm going to take the damage increase and we'll come back and we'll see what we can get here later because we actually have a lot of money with us right now. And so we should be able to buy something new pretty quickly. Ooh, you guys are arranged in exactly the wrong way to be going up against me with this gun. You guys are in a bad position right now. Uh, what is this? Huh. I don't know what this is. I wonder what that does. Interesting. Maybe there's like symbols or a key or something that I have to pick up along the way? I don't really know. Oh, uh, we got some... Oof, we got chained in right there. It's okay. Our health is still alright. Everything is okay. We're not dead yet. Everything is okay. We're doing alright. I'm gonna take this guy right here too so that I get extra ammo. Yup, because I don't know what happens when you run out of ammo. I assume it takes you back to, like, the default gun or whatever. Oh, he's the seal. The Nimbus has been broken. It makes sense now. So that over there must have been a Nimbus or something like that. And so you can't get through the gate until you kill off the Key Master. Essentially, the character that controls the key to the gate, you're not going anywhere until you kill him off. All right, let's go upwards. There it is. We've got ourselves Presence. I'm going to shoot it, and I'm going to hope that it dies. How about that? That's Splattercat's strategy for right now. Shoot it until it dies. I think we did enough damage. 
so we got a lot of stuff moving around right now. Oh my god, it's a good thing we broke that guy when we did. There was getting to be a few too many bullets on the screen. Oh, I knew I was going to eat that one. I could, I could smell it in the air. Woo! It's getting nastier, so adds a bomb, recovers one HP, recovers your ammo. Let's get some more ammo. We'll get another bomb right there. Nothing I can do on that side, so let's head on into the next abyss and see what the game has going for us. I don't know. I like old retro nostalgic things like this. And honestly, like in a world, I think Binding of Isaac, one of the big selling points on Binding of Isaac is that it's a quality game. But at the same time, it also has a very... It's a good game, but it's got a very good aesthetic. I think this game is barking up that exact same tree, so this is an upgrader. Shop items are cheaper. We can have increases your maximum hit points by one third. And so we're 11, which means we'll probably get, I don't know if it rounds up or it rounds down. Better and more frequent item drops. Hey, it rounds up, hell yeah. Okay, good trade right there, good thing to know about. I think that might just be a turret. Uh, let's get out of there. I feel like that corner is something that's really going to make us suffer if we stayed down there. we got another shop on this side. We have a firebomb. We can increase our max HP or we can recover our HP. I'm going to see what I can save up for here. What is that, like an artillery strike? I don't know what just happened. Oh, he's powered by ghosts. Everybody knows that a good bad guy is powered almost entirely by ectoplasm and ghosts. Otherwise, what kind of bad guy is he? Let's swing on through here. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give you the shotgun for right now. I'm almost out of ammo too, man. I need a new gun. This shotgun, I think, is the main reason. We're just getting carried right now by our superior ordinance. And that runs out, I think we're gonna start suffering. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and do this the old way. Uh, I think I can swing on through there. That was a pretty, that was a pretty tight little area to be in. I'll be honest with you, that was a little bit sketchy, but we managed to pull our way through. My skills from back in the Nintendo days are still sticking with me, so... Alright, so we got two things. We've got homing. Homes onto enemies, or we've got charge. Shotgun style. I want the shotgun. Yep, 100% I want the shotgun. The shotgun was so much better than that rocket thing we were using. Oh, this is a different gun. Oh. Okay. I see what I can do right there. Man, we're getting a little beat up right now. I don't know how much further we're going to be able to... Oh, there's the key holder. Let's get him. This is it, Nerd Castle. You just got to believe. I didn't know if he was going to teleport to another zone or not. Oh, I knew I was going to eat that hit right there. Health is looking kind of bad at the moment. That only gave us one HP back, too. I think we may have come off the little worse for wear right there. I may have to spend my money on something that... I don't really want to spend it on as we play this out here. Like, I don't really want to spend my money restoring my health, but if I have to, I have to. So where are we right now? Did I never go down right here? Down, doobie doo, down, down, comma, comma. Punctuation's important in proper music, man. Ooh, another HP. Yup, definitely needed that. So there's the boss room right there, but it says there's still one more key master around that we gotta take care of. I love the little graphical effect it added to our gun, how it sits there and it just like charges. I'm gonna need to be somewhere else. And I'm gonna need to be somewhere else like five seconds ago. Oh no. You shoot those, they fall. Lots of little modifiers to the gameplay too. What is that? Adds a bomb? I'll take it. Let's take the bomb. I haven't really been using them that much because I'm bad at my job. But, we're almost out of machine gun. I don't want to be out of machine gun. And there's the other key master right... Oh, that's a trip. Okay. Those were like little squiggle bullets. That threw me off like hell. I didn't know what to say when I saw that. And another HP. And we got more money right now. All right. Giggity, giggity, goo. On this side, we've got a bunch of apparently weaponized fish. Not super sure how I feel about that. Did their bullets count when they go in there? They must. I don't really have the attack power to do what I want to do anymore, though. I'm glad I increased my attack power by 5%, so even when we're using, like, the default weapon, we can still feel like we're throwing down. Alright, so that's fine. That little red thing down there doesn't do anything. I keep seeing stuff that, like, I have a weird inclination and I want to shoot it, but I don't. Um, if we have the money, what I'd like to do is I'd like to restore our health, and I'd also like to get a health increase. 
from the store, but I don't remember what the store icon looked like. Is this him? Nope, that's the pod. Eh, it's over here. There it is. So I would like to increase my max HP. Oh, we can't afford it. Let's just get some health back. I think that's our safest wager for right now. All right, so back at the boss. Let's see what we got here. We have the armor tack. Oh, it's a moving level. That's pretty cool. I can dig that. I wonder if I can destroy his little wall mountings. Oh, Christ. Almost got me right there. Teleport saved me from a, a worse ass whooping in that spot. Not my favorite, but... I wonder if the bomb destroys... Oh, it does. It clears the screen. It's a screen wipe. I don't know a lot about games like this, but I do know the value of a screen wipe when I see one. I've played them enough. Screen wipes are always nice to have. Okay, so that's what I'm supposed to be using bombs for. I can save myself with a screen wipe when it becomes necessary. Oh. It looks like he's still up and running. Let's try to keep ourselves out of harm's way since our HP seems to carry over. There it is. I knew I could get rid of him. The second phase wasn't nearly as bad as the first. Ooh. All right, little bomb right there. 20% more ammo. It's not really going to matter. I think it converts it into money if you end up with that. So wait, what happened? Oh, I get it. So he made you collapse to the floor back to the previous room. The bellows. Yeah, let's focus real hard on maybe not being dead today. How about that? I'm going to put all my... Ooh, an upgrader. Yay, we got a weapon. We got our little weapon equipper. Our little weird doodad thing. So shop items are cheaper, prolongs invulnerability, better, more frequent item drops. Gonna take that. Apparently the machine god wills it, therefore we live with it. I'm gonna put a couple shots on you. I'm not gonna wait around and like see what happens if I stay inside one of those things and get pinned against a wall either. Cool. Another room all cleared out. A couple of these little orbs down here. Let's get rid of them real fast. Oh, hey, what's up champ? Man, he got something to say to us. Apparently, I've got max ammunition, but max ammunition is not really going to help when I don't have a special gun. What are you? You must be the new key master. Okay. So the Nimbus is broken. One of those is all done. I'm going to start calling those by their name. I keep calling them key masters, but they're, uh, they're Nimbus I. Nimbi. What's the plural? Nimbuses? What's the plural of Nimbus? I don't think I've ever pluralized Nimbus in my entire life. Something new happens every time. I make a video. I tell you what. Oh, am I taking damage on touch from that thing? Oh, I am. I may have just hosed our whole playthrough. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I took a lot of damage right there. All right. That enemy's all up and out. I wonder if it blows up the whole thing if I kill the eyeball. It does. Killing the eyeball is definitely the more effective way to get rid of those weird pipe things. Ew. What are you? I'm going to call you a chompers. I'm going to call you the dentition. A little more cash right there. I like how the as we get more and more damaged, I like the way that the UI for the player starts to fuzz out a little bit. I like that. What is that? 2 HP? Oh my god, we needed that so badly. That is probably the most welcome thing I've seen in a minute. We've got one more Nimbus around that we got to get rid of. So as soon as we find his ass, we should be all right. Done right there? Almost? All right, good. We got him taken care of. A little bit more cash for the stash so that we can make a dash and have a bash with new guns that blast. And this guy right here, done and done. Oh, he had a little pilot inside of him. That's kind of cool. God, lots of running and gunning in here. I could use a health pickup. I don't know if you guys want to drop a health pickup, but I would love to have it. I would take it. I wouldn't turn it down. I'm not a greedy man. Ah, gemstone works. Maybe we'll find a shop that'll have some extra HP for us. These guys down here, we got another, a new hat. What? I'm talking about new hat. I'm going to keep lighting him up as much as I can. There we go. So he dropped a few more of these little dudes around. Let's wipe them out. You know, it's a simple, fast-paced game, and that's what I think I like about it. Can we pick up keys or something? I wonder if we'll, how do we get in there? So this guy's got HP recovery. He's got recovers all ammo and increases your max. Or increases your max ammo. Okay. Uh, let me get the HP. That's pretty much all I got going for me right now. If I can't manage to keep myself... Ooh, you guys came out busting, didn't you? You guys were not feeling my shenanigans. Luckily, my rotational tactics appear to be holding them at bay. 
And so I'm not going to panic about it too much. I took a risky move right there that technically I really didn't have to take. The biggest problem is that we haven't picked up any kinds of special ammo or anything recently. You guys can stop right now with that. What is that? Increases your max ammo. Oof. What have you got for me? So we got a fireball that's homing, or we've got a fireball that overheats. Area of effect damage over time. Back blast, knock by his enemies. Um, ooh, chain lightning. It arcs between enemies, huh? I think I'm 100% okay with that revelation. Oh my god, we're recovering. Oh my god, that shit was amazing. They were not kidding when they said it chain lightnings. Alright, so that guy's down. We'll fling a grenade at him real fast. I'm fairly happy with our choice of weapon. Ah. Go ahead and use a bomb right there. Oof. Eating hits that I don't want to hit. Oh no! There's so much chaos occurring. Luckily, he's got a little health restorative right there. We came out lower than we came in, but the gate is open. Let's go ahead and check out this boss right here, which will more than likely be the last one that we get to clear out in this episode. Down to the bottom. Ooh. Dude, that chain lightning is pretty devastating. Oh, I sat there and I just ate that one. I don't know why I did that. That was such a scrub muffin move. All right, so we've got the ordinator. Oh, that looks kind of scary. Oh, no. Oh, I barely dodged that. Oh, my God. I am glad to see that my skills have come back, though, and I haven't forgotten how to play a game like this. I used to get so far in some of these games off one quarter. I'm blowing all my resources right now, and hopefully it's just enough. If it's not, you got to look for the opening here. Oof. So he's kind of eliminated my maneuvering space a bit. But as long as I focus... Oh, I used my last bomb right there. That was the last one I had. It broke up the pattern slightly, but oh Jesus, man, that was rough. Good lord, I'm glad to see that my I'm glad to see that my supernatural powers at games like this still exist, though. Somehow I managed to sneak my way through, grab some ammo, and then we are on the next floor. If you guys like this game, it's called Monolith. You can check it out down below in the description. I got a link for you. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like on it. Helps the channel out more than you know. If you wanted to hang out live, come to Twitch TV slash Splattercat Gaming, and I would absolutely love to have you there for some fun. Right now we're playing Far Cry 5, doing like a full playthrough and doing our thing. Love to have you. Swing on through. Monday through Friday, 3 o'clock Pacific Daylight Time as of right now. Hi to everybody. This has been a journey through indie gaming with your boy Splatty. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.